Is your home a little dated? You're thinking about doing some upgrades and some renovations, but want to make sure that what you're doing is giving you the best bang for your buck if you decide to sell? Not all home renovations give you the best return of investment when selling a home. So unless you're doing it for your own style and enjoyment, uh, doing uh, renovations that give you the best return of investment just makes sense. One of the biggest ones, add space. Uh, maybe have a basement that's not finished yet, finish it. Family room, maybe another bedroom downstairs, another bathroom, maybe have a large attic or a loft above the garage, even outside, adding a little kitchen area, a bar, some kind of outside space people can enjoy. These will certainly give you a high return and invest. All right, the next thing would be kitchens and bathrooms. Taking buyers into home, one of the first things they immediately see and take a, attention to is a beautifully designed and renovated kitchen. Uh, you want to actually a little piece of advice would be maybe to get an interior designer to give you some ideas before you renovate you want to avoid heavy period style uh, cabinetry and surfaces because you want to create a, a soothing environment uh, really uh, attractive environment for the buyers so you want to be able to see themselves living in this kitchen and bathrooms self-explanatory nice renovated bathroom maybe a large tub soaker tub uh, all of these will certainly give you a high return in your investment Windows and doors. Uh, when I take clients through a home, I'm looking at the, the items they're going to have to be replacing uh, sooner than later. The big ticket items like your roof, uh, issues with the foundation, heating system, electrical, and of course, the windows and the doors. Uh, replacing your old dated windows uh, with more energy efficient uh, products can certainly enhance uh, the value of your home and, and being more attractive to that buyer. So when a buyer first pulls up to your property, obviously the first thing they're going to see is the exterior. Curb appeal is really, really important. So if you've got a garage door that's full of puck marks, broken and all rusted, certainly not gonna start the viewing off on a positive note. So a very inexpensive way to add value would be to replace that garage door. Painting, can't stand it. I hate the idea of painting. So many other things I'd much rather be doing than painting, but it's a very inexpensive way to add value to your home. Uh, unless you're an avid painter and you love it and it's therapeutic for you, I would recommend hiring a professional and also possibly consult with an interior designer. Uh, avoid big bold colors. You want to create a more neutral environment, a uh, more inviting environment that the buyer going through your home can envision themselves spending time with their family. All right, so regardless of what you're planning on doing, maybe a weekend project or major renovation, whatever the case may be, really important to know what return on investment you're going to get. Another big thing to consider is the type of housing market that you're in. Right now here at Halifax, heavy seller's market, so those big ticket items uh, might not be that necessary and focusing more on the less expensive uh, painting, replacing your garage door, landscaping, things like that uh, will certainly go a long way. Okay, so if you have any questions in regards to this, anything else, if you want uh, to know a number on a great painter, landscaper, interior designer, here's my number, here is my email, reach out, we'd love to help. Thanks for watching, we'll see you on the next one.